Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and Mabuhai. Welcome to Hashtag Buhai Twitter Press Conference. We have transformed the Buhai Museum to Twitter City. Just what is Twitter City? More importantly, what are we celebrating with Twitter today? This share with us exactly what all these are. Let's call on stage Twitter's Vice President for Global Online Sales, Mr. Richard Alfonsi. Thank you for spending time with us. I'm Richard Alfonsi. I'm Vice President of Global Online Sales at Twitter. I'm visiting from Twitter's headquarters in San Francisco, and it's fantastic to be here in the Philippines to be able to share some stories and experiences with you. Earlier today, we had a, a great client event for marketers, agencies, other advertisers to be able to experience this Twitter city uh, that hopefully you had a chance to be able to experience some yourselves. This is a concept that we had at CES, the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, was the first time we did this. It was a great way to show in an experiential environment how Twitter is a live connection to culture, to all the things, the passions, the events that people care about. And I think you can get a flavor for how that's happening in the Philippines by walking around the Twitter city here. It's telling that we chose to have the first Twitter city outside the United States here in the Philippines. We're excited to bring this to Asia, we're excited to bring this market. The Philippines is a huge market for us, one we're very excited about. We know that the Filipino people, people love Twitter, and Twitter loves the Philippines as well. So we're excited to do more and more work in this country. We're excited to be able to work with more and more partners, advertisers, and really serve the users here. I want to give you a sense on how that goes today. So what I want to talk about is this concept of your live connection which is a way to think about Twitter. Twitter's gonna turn 10 years old next month in March. And from the very beginning, Twitter was a service that answered one question better than any other service. And that's what's happening right now. And today, it's more true than ever. It's the connection to what's happening in sports, in politics, in world events, in TV, entertainment, all the things that people are passionate about. It's this live connection to culture. What makes Twitter distinctive is its first-hand, real-time nature. And we talk about it in these three adjectives. First, direct, and long. It's the first place people come to see what's happening. And here you can see Manny Pacquiao working out. You can see LeBron James in the NBA Finals. You see the insane people. All direct, you know, it's really direct to the source. The middle part there, I don't know, if you guys know Periscope? Is that something you've heard about? Periscope is a separate app from Twitter, live streaming video that lets people really show exactly what's happening in the moment. Here, Roger Federer is actually doing a periscope from Seven Court to Wimbledon. It teleports users into that same experience that he's having, lets them interact with, uh, with Federer in a way they couldn't be before. Same is true of thinking about you know, selfies from the, the Filipino president. And it's live. It's things that are happening real time, whether it's you know, the, the profound things like Black Lives Matter, or hashtag Ferguson, really important uh, movements in the US around civil rights or things that are more frivolous, like the dress, which became um, really a big, uh, big sensation across the world as well. A couple things about our audience, and then a couple things about our business. So we have 820 million Twitter users you can reach as a marketer. That breaks down the following way. So the 320 million monthly active users, again, as a public company, we report on this number every quarter. These are folks who are logged in to Twitter at least once a month. Some fun facts about those uh, MAUs, almost 80% of them are outside the United States. So markets like the Philippines are extremely important to us as where we're seeing a lot of our growth, but it's the bulk of the, the user base already. 80% of our users are accessing Twitter from mobile device. Twitter is a mobile first experience. In fact, the reason a tweet was initially 140 characters is limit was so it worked with the SMS system back in 2006 when Jack Dorsey started it. At the time, the SMS message would only be 160 characters long, so you had to reserve 20 characters for addressing, leaving 140 to be able to have the body of a tweet. So that mobile centricity has been a big part of how we think about Twitter and how we think about how people experience it. 
There are 500 million tweets every day, so a billion tweets every two days. And importantly, there are 500 million views to Twitter who are logged out. So to put together the 320 million monthly active login users, 500 million logged out users, that's 820 million users that are the premium reach, the premium audience that our marketing partners can be able to reach. I should also point out that this makes for a very good business as well. In our last earnings call, we announced our results for the full year 2015. We did $2.2 billion in revenue, that's US dollars, growing at 60% year over year. There's actually no other ads-based online business that's growing that fast at that scale. We have $3.5 billion in the bank. We have plenty of cash on hand, and for the first time we became cash flow positive in 2015, meaning we could sustain the business of this configuration for hundreds of years. We're excited to be able to offer Twitter as an important connection to the world for the foreseeable future of Twitter. So let's talk about this audience a bit more. The audience is really both influential and very passionate. So if you think about this connection to influence, the people that are on the platform, they range you know, all walks of life, you know, from normal folks up to celebrities, but world leaders, sports heroes, entertainment celebrities, the news media themselves, all these folks live on Twitter. They're a very influential group that brings with them a very passionate audience who wants to hear from them and be able to connect with them. So across you know, entertainment, sports, media, millennials, you, know, you name it, we have the bases covered. For world leaders, 82% of all world leaders are on Twitter and are active on Twitter. My own president, President Obama, um, he's been on Twitter for a long time as a campaign vehicle for his uh, election process eight years ago. But rather recently, last year, there was a, a new handle, at POTUS, which stands for President of the United States, that they created for him. And he, his first tweet was, hello, Twitter, it's Barack, really? And six years in, they're finally doing my own Twitter account, which gives him an opportunity to connect with a lot of different folks. To set the stage, you know the baby wave, you know, with the uh, Al Dub sensation. When President Obama came to visit the Philippines, this Navy captain got the president to do the Mbebe wave as well. Which brings us to an important uh, unveiling. We think about the term the golden tweet for a certain geography to be the tweet that got the most shares, the most retweets. And this is from the Al Dub sensation. And you guys know this story way better than I do, but I was blown away as I came to understand really how this is played out. So you know the story around you know, this couple that you know, on the popular variety show, they really have an amazing following as their relationship has blossomed. I guess this is from October when they had a reunion at a charity concert when Lynn Mendoza, Yaya Dub, tweeted this out and it was retweeted, can't really read it here, but almost 77,000 times, which narrowly edged out the Pope last year, but that's another thing. What's striking to me, though, is this stat on the right side. That day, around this event, around this hashtag, there were 41 million tweets. To put that into context, the Super Bowl in the US is the biggest sporting event in the United States, one of the biggest events on Twitter. Two weeks ago, it had 27 million tweets. So out of this particular hashtag, on that one day in October, was bigger than the Super Bowl, which again, gives you some sense of what we're very excited about the Philippines as a market. Make sense? All right. So with that, I want to hand it off to my colleague, Lisa Chamberlain.